The Buckley Health Care Center has short-term and long-term care for people of all ages in Greenfield, and they also have Seasons, their very own restaurant, on site. And we're with Chef Mike Harrison. He is from Buckley Health Care Center. And we're making a delicious dish off the menu. Thanks for stopping by. Glad to be here, Seth. So Buckley and Seasons, first of all, tell us what you do there. Um, what I do is I do a scratch kitchen restaurant and six-week cycle menu for the residents and resident family members, uh, support activities in all their endeavors, and just come up with ideas to keep uh, our residents' lives uh, exciting and uh, always changing and, and interesting just like retirement would do. Well, and we were talking earlier about food and our level with it because, you know, everybody loves food. You wake up and you, it, what I think about all the time is what am I going to have for lunch? What am I going to have for dinner? It's the highlight of a lot of people's days. And you were saying when people retire, that's even more what they think about. It's, uh, we, we, there was a survey done and 60% of the residents in a long-term skilled nursing center, or rehabilitation center, 60% of their day revolves around the foods. It's kind of like a long-term vacation. And when you're on vacation, that's all you're thinking about. Oh man, what am I going to have for lunch? You know, oh, where am I going to go for dinner? Yeah, it's, each meal gets you to the, the next the part next of your meal, day. Yeah. You know, I, I wake up, I want to take a run, I'm going to have breakfast, I'm going to go to the beach, where, where are we going to have lunch, this and that. So. Like I always say, if 60% if of your, rev, your uh, residence day is mundane, what no good. And that's why you have Seasons. It's a restaurant that really helps to class it up, and, and you put the fun back in food. So today we're making a great summer dish. What I always try to do is I try to bring a dish to, um, to you folks that's not intimidating for you folks at home. Mm -hmm. um, we did this last night. We had our birthday dinner. And, and you do that every month, by the way, for everyone who has a birthday in that month, which yeah. is nice. We celebrated uh, uh, 13 different residents' uh, birthdays. Um, we had uh, about 27 guests show up. We sang happy birthday. We had a wonderful cake, um, ice cream. Well, what I did is I did prime rib, which we all can do prime rib. I was going to say that. Good. It's easy though. It's easy. Everyone uh, can do prime rib, but not right. everyone can do this. So, and this is a farfalle pasta, right? This is a farfalle pasta. Is that how which, you pronounce that? Am I doing that right? You know something? It, it, it's <laughs> kind of like tomato and tomato. That's However true. you want to pronounce it, if, as long as the other person understands what you meant. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're good or to go. Just call it bow tie pasta. It's all the same. And that's basically what it is. It's just a smaller bow tie pasta. So, what I did is I cooked off uh, the farfalle pasta. I save some of the liquid. So if it starts to dry out the sauce, you can always add, add some of the liquid. pasta liquid, which is a little salted and it has the flavor. Exactly. It's better than just water, which will inevitably water it down. Absolutely. Now, so, a whole tub of mascarpone cheese. This is mascarpone cheese. Um, I'm making a double batch. You usually want to use about six ounces of it. Um, now, would, how does this keep, though? If people at home, maybe they, they're cooking for a big family, if they want to make a double batch, does it keep for a while? Yeah, it, it will absolutely keep for a while. The nice part about mascarpone cheese is what they're using, what they use to make cannoli filling. So it's so, like dessert and dinner at the same time. It, it's absolutely. It's a nice, sweet, soft cheese. Um, I'm also going to add. Oh, yes, yeah, and Parmesan? Some fresh grated parm. It's cheese on cheese. That's absolutely. probably the best combination I know. And then we're going to mix this. Now, if, if people are interested, you were saying at, you know, at Seasons and at Buckley, the food is such an important part of it. A lot of people love to cook, though, growing up. Now, I'm sure if they want to, they can pop into the kitchen, or there's, there's herb gardens that they can take part in. Um, we have an herb garden that has uh, fresh basil and chives and tomatoes um, that the residents um, have uh, go out and, and nurture it and plant it and make sure it's maintained um, that we use for our cooking on premise. Um, Which is so nice that people can not only be immersed in their cooking and, and eat stuff that tastes good, but they can take an active role in it. Because as people age, you know, everyone loves to cook and everyone wants to keep cooking. So that you can help a little bit is nice. Absolutely. The other thing I, I want to do is I'm going to all be advertised when I'm buying local produce. Because before they were in, in my nursing center, they would shop at the local markets or the local uh, farms. So if I'm getting Hadley asparagus or, or corn from Westfield, I'm going to let them know blueberries from, from a, a local farm. Well, and this is the time of year, too. Everything is just popping up all over the place, Absolutely. all the vegetables. So we're going to finish this. What I did is I took some asparagus, mm -hmm. about two-inch pieces, set the oven about 450, a little olive oil, salt and pepper, about 10 just minutes. Roast it. Pull it out. The nice part about this is it can be done two hours in advance. Oh, that's so it. you're not you're not waiting on on something to come out of the oven. And this is just a one pot dish, pretty much. It's a this one is easy. pot dish. Um, the nice part is a lot of times we have the uh, barbecue, 
where I'm gonna steal some of this. Yeah, go nuts. So this is the pasta water just to you know loosen the sauce up a little bit. Yep. And now I see you have a couple other things here. Is this chives? We have uh, fresh chives. Mm -hmm. And now it's is right this out of the Buckley Garden. Percy, I love it. Right out of the Buckley Garden. Yeah, I'm sure some of the residents are watching right now and they're like, oh, I recognize those chives. How you doing, everybody? <laughs> and then um, I took some hazelnuts. These were fresh hazelnuts that I purchased and cracked yesterday. Um, if you have that coffee grinder at home, that's what I use to chop all my herbs and nuts. You get you, you clean it out real well. I was gonna say, or get a second one. Yep, you clean it out real well, and um, you just put it in there. It'll grind it up fine as fine as you need it, or you know. Um, and that just helps to change the you know the the mouth feel. I would assume when you stir all that in, and you get the softness of the rest of the dish, but that gives it a little crunch. Yeah, this, hazelnuts are so prevalent in a lot of. Uh, a lot of dishes, whether it's a, um, a wines that you're drinking, uh, flavored coffees, and stuff like that. You know what's nice about this too? It, you know, a lot of the, the residents. This is something that they're similar that, that they're used to having all their lives. But you put a little, you know, not necessarily a healthier twist on it, but it's a different twist, and it always keeps them guessing, and it always keeps them enjoying the food. But things can be upscale without costing a lot. Exactly. Well, yeah. Let's plate this up, and, and thank you so much for stopping by today. It, it's great that. Uh, seniors have an option of, because you're right, so much time, I'm thinking about my lunch right now, I'm thinking about my dinner, so it's nice that seniors can really look forward to their meals. Right, the one thing I want to add is we, we put 400 residents back into the community this year alone. So you. you're, when you come to Buckley, the rehab is going to get you on your feet and home. On your um, feet and out, even though you want, might want to stay for the food. Absolutely. Mike, Thank thanks you. so much. Hey, and for more information on Buckley Healthcare Center in Greenfield, just call them, 413-774-3143, and visit them online also, buckleyhealthcare.com.